Behavioral marketing is a part of social media in the sense that this is how these uh, social media sites and other websites uh, generate revenue, and that's through behavioral marketing, advertising, trying to come up with aggregation of data that would allow companies to uh, better uh, target individual consumers on their buying habits. You're talking about uh, the use of, of web and app tracking technologies that are right in your, built into the browsers so that the companies can understand and know uh, what, your, what your browsing habits are, what you're buying, what kind of e-commerce activity you've got going on, and they're selling that information. They're, used, they're compiling that information. So what I'm getting at here is this is a business practices issue um, that is uh, very new uh, in the sense that we are starting to see a lot of um, proposed legislation, um, Federal Trade Commission involvement in uh, coming up with ways to combat this, yet still trying to encourage innovation in the, in a, in a very fast-moving industry. And there's a, a slew of, of, of marketing companies, advertising companies, um, database ag aggregators that are just compiling this information and, and making a lot of money selling it. And ultimately, um, it's kind of a generational thing, I think. People really would say that's a, pri a privacy violation. The, I think the, the younger generation would say, I want people to target me and know that I'm walking down the street here with my phone and I'm walking past a retailer and they know that I bought a pair of shoes there last year and they might have that same one, same pair of shoes available in different color this year.